someone had to take it off offensively, and it was Iron Smith. Smith with 12. Hasn't missed a shot in this game. Perfect from the field. Three for three at the foul line. Texas Tech shot 50% in the first half. Good pass inside. Culver lays it in. And more mature in that way. I mean, let's not forget, he, he's a freshman. So, really, every game for him is a brand new experience through the journey of college basketball. Nice cut and feed there from Colbert. The expectations weren't really high, but he really lit it up and had a great season. Holman off the glass, but controlled the rebound by Jarrett Culver, freshman from Lubbock, Texas. Red Raiders high on Culver. And the three pointer. Glass. Odiase gets the rebound that time. That's his first of the night. And again, Tech on the move. Kessler State does a good job getting back in transition. Stevenson has been quiet tonight. Evans again open for the three. Got it. Second. Again, Wofford's been able to take advantage of that. Yeah, interior defense right now. Texas Tech struggling. And I wonder if Cameron Jackson and uh, Aluma, as you mentioned right there, if you're going to start you know, digging down, maybe double-teaming some of the post players, make them kick it back out. Well, you don't want to go away from Fletcher McGee, but Jared Culver. But they uh, have not scored in 5 minutes, 19 seconds, and uh, direct correlation right there, and just them struggling on the offensive end and him not being on the floor. A bad combination. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, and you wonder... As Davide Moretti knocks the big lead and just not not playing as crisp and sharp as uh, as you did in the first half, which helps you big that build that lead. Red Raiders have been outscored 14 to 8 in the second half by Wofford. Justin Gray trying to get away from our our Nine Stevenson trying to get away from Nate. They talk about positionless basketball, John, just because you have so many guys that uh, have guard skills that are these four guys, stretch fours and things like that. And that's what Culver, you were talking about a while ago, he does such a good job at that as well. Just gets that rebound and will push the break. Fleming had it in a great spot on the other end, couldn't finish. The only, well, all three of the big men that... Uh, Maine has, who may be on the court at the very at this moment. All of them about six six to six seven. Clearly a size advantage for the Red Raiders, but it paid off there. But again, the floor gets whistled for the foul. He'll take a seat. And you mentioned that John four fouls for Andrew Fleming. He has not enjoyed his trip to Lubbock, Texas. Twenty minutes played tonight. He is 0 for five from the field. And again, Bob Walsh just saying this is our best guy. He's got to embrace it. Uh, Diets. No, no. <laughs> I was just staring at the scoreboard. You were just within my, my eye vision. I got you. Thanks. Got another post-up opportunity, too. Francis. That was Taylor who got him in the face. Foul on Taylor here on the other end. And that's 14 fouls against Purdue. Evans, the jumper. And you know, it's very difficult when you're in a slump when you're playing five out. You got to find ways to get higher percentage shots. That's not bad. Stevenson putting the little Jericho Sims, he had 15 of them last night against the Cyclones. It was a three-point shooting contest, and it didn't end well in the first half for Texas in last night's game. No, it didn't, and right there, that's more of the three-point shooting contest. Kerwin Rhodes, he's been better at playing for others, but they're just forcing up a court for it Texas. Didn't make free throws yesterday. Yeah, and he really had an issue with it. Well, Bramba did not look very happy to me to be coming out of the game. Evans, that's the third time he's done that in this half. It's amazing. And listen, it's not a fluke. I remember the very first game of the season. They played Baylor, and Baylor was shorthanded, but Tech just whacked them. I mean, and I was talking to the Baylor coaches. Oh, there's Zach Smith again. Chili's for your pregame meal? We got to get you to some local barbecue place or somewhere local. Chili's, what are we doing? See, that's what I was talking about. I thought I, I dropped Lafonso's name everywhere I went, and I ended up at Chili's. Oh, wow. what a shell screen, seemingly effortlessly, and knocking it down. Well, it's effortless because nobody's guarding Azubuki. So Azubuki's being used as a screener, and then you can come off that screen, and you've got nothing but open space off the screen. A wing through that defense.
One of the things Oklahoma State is doing well, if you're, when you're playing motion offense, like Texas Tech is, you better communicate on defense. You hear good defensive teams. Oklahoma State doing a great job of talking. Stevenson with the big boards. If they can't grab the rebound, just keep it alive. And one of our other guys will grab it. And that's exactly what happened as Z Sema cleaned it up and finished. Gray from the elbow. Tied at 31. They had a little bit of space on the interior, but that was a tough shot. Odiasi goes right in his grill. Iowa State pulls to within three. There's Culver. An identity crisis defensively this year, but should be fun to watch tomorrow night. Evans with two personal fouls now after that uh, charge call just before the break. So he's on the bench for 10 Brandon.